Hey guys, what's up? It's Adrian. Welcome back. I hope you're doing great. So today we are here at the Dim Sum King, well the new Dim Sum King as a matter of fact, on the new management. So I'm hearing good things so far and they are offering hot pots and they are the only restaurant in Trinidad actually offering that. So you know I had to come and try it out. I mean everyone keeps messaging me about it on IG and I just had to come and try it. The menu is crazy long. Um, but it's a surprise what I'm actually ordering because I spoke with the owner and he was gracious enough to actually create something special for me for you guys to actually see what I think so I think that is extremely awesome I think that doesn't happen in Trinidad and I, I, I just I can't wait so stay tuned let's see what I get in a few minutes guys so I got a surprise um, they brought a few things for me um, so let me see if I could kind of show you guys a bit. So um, this is my tea. It's, it's very, again, it's very hot. As you can see, the smoke there. So this is a bread tea, he called it. Um, I think it's made with chrysanthemum. Um, I can't be wrong. Yeah, you can actually see the flowers on the inside. Um, I got a complimentary snack as well. Um, it's roasted peanuts and salt and stuff. Um, who doesn't love that you know so let's try the tea because I mean I have to speak about the service that I've been getting um, they, are, they are honestly amazing I am so 100% pleased and I haven't even gotten anything yet so let me tell you guys what I've gotten so far I've gotten the tea the nuts I've got my plates and stuff I also got my sauces to DIY so I would have gotten in here garlic I would have gotten side I would have gotten a spicy soy sauce which is house made I think that's something that's super excellent and I think it makes them stand out from everyone else I mean of course I would have said that the hot pot is unique to them alone only in Trinidad and I think that is so important I think that we need to stand out a bit and I think this is exactly what I'm talking about when I say restaurants need to stand out. So let's try this tea. Um, it is very, very, very hot. It smells amazing. I, I know you guys hate when I say amazing all the time, but honestly, I'm kind of blown away with the service that I've been getting thus far. So, but, I mean, I could say cheers, but you know, it doesn't feel like that kind of moment. Okay, so it reminds me of unsweetened chamomile, but at the same time, there's a different um, underlying note that I can't quite pinpoint. It also reminds me of chamomile and lavender at the same time. So this type of tea, it's uh, a health tea, so it prevents things like cancer and so forth. Um, that's what was told to me, so don't quote me, but you can do your own research. Um, I am just blown away thus far, and I haven't even gotten to the hot pot yet. Just to show you guys what's in front of me right now. So over here, we have lamb and beef. Next, we have different greens and Chinese mushrooms. Next, we have corn. We have crab. We have... A lobster ball, a squid ball, a shrimp ball, a beef ball, and I think that's about it. I could be wrong because I got everything from the menu. Um, we have some greens, we have Chinese greens, bok choy. Um, in terms of fish, we have squid, we have koopa, we have mussels, we have shrimp, and I just remembered it's called scallops I, I don't know why I couldn't remember that again those are our sauces so what I was recommended to do is start with our sauces first I wish I can I, let me try and do it in front so you guys could kind of see so this is the best I can do for you guys to be able to see so I'm gonna start off with garlic I mean you must have garlic and you know what I appreciate it's fresh garlic it is fresh garlic now I'm going to have uh, the spicy homemade soy sauce because I mean how could I not try this I mean it looks absolutely heavenly and it smells 
fantastic. So I added that and now what I'm gonna do, that's pepper sauce. I wanna add some chives to my dipping sauce because I mean, you know, it's just gonna be extra, 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 extra delicious. And I think I wanna add a bit and that's it. So that's it for our sauces. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna take my chopsticks if I can actually get them because my table again is so full so I'm just gonna mix everything together you know because you want your sauce to actually be mixed so I'm gonna mix everything together the smell of this is intoxicating so let me show you guys what it looks like it looks great it smells divine it's extremely fresh and fragrant that's exactly what you want now there are some instructions when it comes to doing this um, you don't want the tongs for the raw meat to actually touch the vegetables you know obviously if you get sick you know you have to use a ladle to take everything out you have to rest everything on your plate for it to be cooled you know again I would think that's common sense but I need to tell you guys um, let's kind of get this cracking but I need to have some tea first it's excellent you know it's filled with antibiotics and all that great stuff so now we are gonna start I don't even know what I want to start with first um, but I'm gonna place my sauce in the middle and start swaying everything around I swear I hope I don't swing if I'm moving you guys too apparently I'm moving you guys too but I want to start with so I'm trying to hold you guys so you guys don't fall off the table um, I think I want to start with vegetables because I mean, you know, vegetables kind of make sense, and uh, these mushrooms look scrumptious. When I tell you they look amazing, they look amazing. Let me show you guys what these mushrooms look like. They are fresh. They they look so good. For my sauce, I got a spicy numbing. I please don't kill me for butchering the pronunciation, but um, you know, it's filled with vegetables. It's spices. Um, it's a broth. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with my mushrooms because they look so, so, so good. I'm going to drop some mushrooms in, you know, um, I'm going to drop a different type as well because, you know, again, why not? So let's drop this other mushroom and if I can actually pick it up, drop it in, you know, stay with my chopsticks because I think it's a bit easier to stay with chopsticks, you know. Um, I have my plate say I have two which is kind of nice to have the two with you know the weeks so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull out my mushroom you know because mushrooms don't take a really long time to cook you know and you don't want to overcook your mushrooms now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take off the pot because I don't want you guys to be smoked out and fish my mushrooms Oh, as you saw one almost went flying so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some of my mixture of spices garlic um, peppers and all of that and basically try it so I can't have everything you know that in such a way where I can eat normally I mean of course you know but one thing that I have to add that was given to me as well is Chinese spinach and what I was told is that when it boils is that the leaves change whatever broth that is in but I already have a red broth so I wouldn't be able to tell but thus far oh and they also gave me some ramen so we're gonna see how that's gonna work out honestly I don't know how I'm gonna finish all of this but I am so excited so here's what I'm gonna move on to next so I'm gonna add it um, the different types of meats and stuff to this I am gonna add my corn because corn tends to take a while so I'll add two slices of corn because why not I think this one is shrimp I am not sure I am just adding them um, I know to the fact that this one is a lobster because it's easy for you to identify and then I am going to add a piece of crab so everything here has been added I didn't add the beef yet um, because you know certain meats tend to flavor things differently so 
I'm just gonna give everything a bit of a stew. I have it in a very low simmer. I'm gonna increase it because I want things to kind of cook a bit faster. Um, let me see if I can give you guys a shot of everything in the pot itself. Vegetables in the pot. I hope you guys can see because of the smoke. This is what I plan to do. I am going to add everything to my pot and let everything cook and kind of set it aside because it's going to take up a lot of time and I would like to eat and you know what I mean I am starved you guys will get the information um but in front of me I have crab and I did the crab because I mean it's crab who doesn't love crab well I mean I know that there are people who don't like crab but I love it so let me tell you guys what I think about this crab add everything in and feast off the bar the crab would have infused with the broth and on my plate I would have had my sauce and that guys the flavor is beyond amazing it is so tender but yet so flavorful and the crab stayed in there for no more than 10 seconds so that's to tell you how concentrated and flavorful the broth actually is. Mm. I can't wait to share this video with you guys. I know I'm filming and it's not out yet, but I think you guys are deaf. My apologies for who is listening with the headphones. But I'm going to add everything in now and give you guys my thoughts because I have a lot of thoughts which are all good things which is interesting because you guys know how things go now let's get to the good stuff well I mean some other good stuff if I can actually pick it up so we're gonna put a slice of fish in we're gonna put a scallop um, scallops cook insanely fast so I gotta keep my eye on that and we're gonna put a slice of squid don't freak out and look at these beautiful shrimp let me pick it up properly so you guys can actually see how amazing they look this is the shrimp and that is gonna be fantastic so that's it for my seafood I do have mussels and I am gonna put the mussel in right now and let it absorb that flavor so let me rest this down this is gonna take a few minutes to cook because of the quantity of things I would have added I am going to increase the speed of my pot so you're gonna see in a couple of seconds it's just gonna go up with smoke um, things are gonna start cooking the shrimp is gonna turn pink and we're gonna start eating everything just took out of my pot pot so what I want to do I want to add some of my sauce to this because I mean why are we gonna try to lock in flavor over here you know flavor is flavor um, I would add this though I am sorry for that noise I would add that you don't necessarily need the sauces because of how flavorful the broth is itself so I'm sorry for the noise if you are hearing noise I'm not sure if you're hearing noise or not so I'm not sure even where to start um, I think I'm gonna start with the scallop because you know I hope I didn't overcook the scallop because as you know a scallop is something that is extremely 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 delicate as you can see it just went opaque so guys my cheeks are contracting so let's taste whoops wow everything was just infused with that amazing 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 broth i i feel i, I feel great honestly and I think, you know, this way of eating is great for families as well. So if, um, if you have a family, friends, whatever, you know, you come, you sit, um, you eat, and all of that is just really, really, really fun. I am now seeing something here that looks kind of strange. Um, and I didn't get to show you guys the um, octopus tail. So let me just show you guys the octopus tail. Uh, not tail, leg, actually. So... You know, I am um, now going to move on to the octopus as well. So, I'm just going to go one bite because, I mean, it's so tiny.
Yeah. So it's dripping everywhere. But that's fine. So, again, Tano's done excellent. Um, the lobster bowl, I am curious to see what it tastes like. Because I've had a traditional, you know, method of cooking. It would have been, you know, whether it be boiled with a garlic butter or grilled or steamed or roasted, which is great. But I've never had it in a hot pot before. So I think this should be something new. Um, again, please do not forget to put everything to cool because you can burn yourself extremely badly. Um, if you have very small kids, you can bring them. Just be very careful. So, cheers. Hot. Wow. Um, it is similar to the crab. Um, reason being, I would say, is because of the broth. And don't think that, you know, because it's one broth, that everything is going to taste the same. No, it's not. Reason being for that is that each individual ingredient would have its own distinct flavor. And I feel like this method of eating and cooking it brings out the best in it. So, I'm going to try that. Let's try the kubab. Now, um, I know a lot of people tend to like this. Um, the fish are filleted which is helpful because I mean you don't want bones in the broth so it's extremely tender it's flaky um, it's honestly super delicious wow so this mystery bowl here that I have I don't know if it's the shrimp or if it's the squid or what it is exactly because I mean they would have told me, but remember, once it goes in the pot, it, it kind of mixed together. So, wow. Oh, this is a squid, and it's delicious. Honestly, I know I keep telling you guys this, but it really is. Um, um, it's all because of the broth itself. The broth makes all the difference in the world, all the spices, the herbs, whatever they use, it's honestly amazing. Um, I did take an image of the menu, I have to put the menu up this time. Um, I keep telling you guys, sorry again, I keep telling you guys that I will put the menu up and then I tend to forget. So I'm not sure what's happening with editing Adrian, but editing Adrian needs to, you know, get himself in a game. Right, so I would assume that this one is the shrimp but I could be wrong because there's one other thing there that I did not put in yet and I didn't even put in the lamb yet I didn't put the beef in yet and I still have ramen but I think the ramen should go last so it can be able to absorb all the flavors from everything that I would have had so far so cheers so this is what I would say I prefer the squid um, the shrimp is delicious but I think the squid is better I'm not sure if it's because I would have left it too long um, now let's try the shrimp as you can see it's a crazy big one let me see if I can kind of like get a small piece it, it, look at how tender it is I just shook it shake it and it, it, it fell apart so you know what I want to dip it into my garlic soy sauce mixed up because I think it'll just taste pretty great together like come on it's excellent and what I think I'm gonna do now I'm gonna add some of my garlic into the broth itself so when I'm scooping everything out and having the broth with the ramen I'm gonna get soft cooked pieces of garlic which is again 100% delicious so I tried every oh I didn't try the mussel yet and I didn't try the crab because I'm getting ahead of myself and I'm way too excited and I think I'm speaking pretty fast as well and if I'm speaking too fast guys I am sorry this is what the mussel looks like another thing that I could mention that I should mention you don't have to use chopsticks um, knife knife and forks are provided they honestly they think about everything excuse me they really do think about everything so I'm gonna take a bite of this because it's pretty big 
and then yeah. It's turned up. It tastes like the ocean with garlic and lots of seasoning. Um, I think I left this one in a tad too long um, because it's turned on one end and then on the other end it's a bit hard which means that I would have overcooked it a bit which is fine you know I have another one there so now let's try the crab and I, you know what guys I think I should just pick it up with my hand and put it in a chopstick because why am I fighting with my food so let's try the, the corn Again, the corn absorbed all the flavor from this beautiful broth. And as you saw that I had a few, I did put in another one inside here. And it's just there soaking in this, uh, my, the temperature of the pot itself. I'm gonna add another piece of uh, beef. Again, you know, you guys are gonna see it simmering in a few seconds. I just don't want to smoke you guys out. I know I am tilted, um, I angled you guys on the same table and on the table itself. So this is our lamb, I know they both look the same, um, but you will know the difference for the texture of the meat um, when it's cooked. Um, I know some people say that it takes a few minutes to be cooked, I do not think so. I think it's cooked way faster than that. Um, you give it a stew, again if it is you can't, see, like let me just show you guys. For example, it's already cooked. Um, let me get a piece of something else. Okay, so this is this is the beef here. As you can see, it's completely different in texture. Um, again, it is extremely extremely hot. Again, you guys can see the smoke. I took my pot off. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna place everything on my plate. Yeah, I have a half eaten piece of corn. So I'm gonna put my meat that I would have just cooked you know um, trying to wrestle it here with one hand you know this is lamb um, the different pieces of meat cooked differently that is celery um, let me get a piece of lamb for you guys and this is lamb now I know to you guys um, everything is going to look basically the same from the camera um, but trust me in person you're actually going to be able to see the difference so what I'm also going to do I am going to take out some of the broth because what I already did I already added garlic so what I'm going to do I'm going to take I'm not going to use my little I'm going to use my actual soup spoon and start taking some of it out because you know what it's some really good stuff inside of it just so I could taste it and let you guys know what I think about the broth itself but you know what the broth is gonna taste excellent because everything else tastes pretty good so i'm gonna allow this to cool down and then be right back with my thoughts my beef and llama cooled so first i'm gonna try the beef this is what it looks like cooked let me give you guys a closer look i don't like it overcooked where it's rubbery so i would have taken out this first um, the ones that you guys would have seen, well, you know, it's mixed in the pot, but I prepared this. Why am I even speaking? So, this is the beef. Wow. This is excellent. I needed to stop to continue chewing. So now we're going to start with the lamb. As you can see, everything is cut very similarly. And the reason for that is so that everything kind of cooks around the same time. And no... Um, consistency issues so let's try the lamb um considering the beef it was extremely tender it's a great cut it's not fatty and even if there was a little bit it just added flavor to the meat and to the stock so cheers again i mean how many times would i have said cheers so far usually i am not a lamb fan as well but it's stand up it's filled with flavor honestly it's just so good and let me show you guys so these are some of the red chilies that would have been used 
you know, it came over um, on my plate when I was taking everything out. So now let me try my broth. Now, this would have been simmering, I would say, throughout while I was filming and beforehand. It would have gotten the flavor of the vegetables, the different meats, everything. So this right here is liquid gold in my opinion because this is going to be so good for you. So I'm going to give it a try. I um, My cheeks are just like... Wow. So let me show you guys what the broth looks like. As you can see all that deliciousness. You can see it smoking as well. Really, it's so I've come to a decision that this has been the best experience ever because the broth is extremely flavorful. It's not even spicy though. You would think that you know when you hear spice, it's not spicy. It's not spicy at all. Um, it complements all the meats well, all the vegetables, all of that. Um, do I have any complaints? No. I know that's a first for Adria to have a CT, but for real guys, I have no complaints. Everything is so great. Um, excuse, sorry. Whoa, I've been eating for hours. So all of the cutlery, not cutlery, all of the plates and bowls and everything match this, so it's gold and white. Um, the aesthetic is excellent. Um, the ambiance is pretty great. It's extremely inviting. Everyone else is extremely inviting as well. I am sorry, people came in and they were staring. Um, everything is so good. Um, I have one last thing to try with you guys, and that's the ramen. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue eating a bit so I can actually savor everything. Um, but you know what? I think everyone is going to love here. Um, it's the new dim sum king. I keep saying this to you guys. It's under new management. You will definitely love it. Great customer service, great food, everything is 100% excellent. I know this review is actually going to be a bit lengthy, but it's worth the effort. Um, if it is you're coming from Port of Spain, make the drive down to South. It's as soon as you get off the highway on the right hand side. You can't miss it, the building is extremely big. The new Dim Sum King is under new management for around a month now. They would have done everything from the 1st of March to now. Uh, again, this is the only restaurant in Trinidad and Tobago that's offering the hot pot service. I've had it already, not here, but I mean, again, I would have had it where, where did I, I can't, somewhere in Florida, and it was not as good as here, and that's to tell you, how, I, I am speechless when it comes to how great everything is. Um, I would say a hard 10 out of 10 for flavor, I would say 10 out of 10 for customer service, and that never happens with me. Um, Everything is extremely fresh, there are nothing seems bad. Everything, considering the ingredients are fresh, um, nothing has a gamey texture of considering the fish. Um, they are even catching the fish in front of you. I have some footage of that, so I'll just insert it here or at some, somewhere in the video. Um, I have nothing bad to say, so I'm going to continue eating this. And I'll see you guys in a bit when I'm having the ramen. Finally, we, we, and I would say we because you know what, we're having this experience together. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my ramen to this <sighs> magnificent, magnificent broth. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take our ramen, I'm going to take some of my ramen, right, because you know what, um, I've been eating for hours. So we're gonna add some of our ramen. The ramen is so smoking hot. I, I can't understand how the ramen is so hot. But this is going to be, hands down, one of the most best experiences I've ever had. I, I could already foresee, because I mean, the ramen is already cooked. But you know, again, being in that delicious, delicious, delicious sauce is going to make all the difference. So what I'm gonna do now, because I would say it's already hot. I'm going to take off the stove 
and I'm going to add it to my bowl. So, this hair is going to be beautiful. I mean, just, just, just look at that. Just look at that. I am making a huge mess in front of me. Trust me. So I hope you guys appreciate that. I'm sorry for doing the pointing. So my ramen is super, super, super hot, but I need, I, I need to try it now. I, I, I just, I just have to look at that smoke. You know. <laughs> Cheers again, you know, because um, again, I wouldn't be here without you guys, so and uh, the man was too stunned to speak. This is this is life changing. You guys need to visit the new dim sum king please visit because again i would say the experience that i'm having is out of this world it never happens in trinidad the customer service is so 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 good please visit even if you don't care for the hot pot the rest of the food is excellent as well and again the service is top notch so i tried everything with you guys um i loved everything there's no complaints um the only thing I needed to get was napkins, and that was it. Um, no complaints, no complaints, 10 out of 10. I love this experience. Uh, I think you guys will definitely love it too. Excuse me. So that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You're awesome for doing that. Don't forget to visit the dim, the new Dim Sum King. Check them out on Facebook. There, It's going to be linked in the description box below. Show them some love. You know, they just took the space over and they just started running the restaurant approximately about a month now. So, you know, great service, great food, great ambience, lovely music. It's not too cold, you know, there are some restaurants that when you go into it, it's too cold. My charger is in the back there. I even got a space to charge my phone. So, you can't get better than this. Um, as I said, top notch. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. And I will see you here back at the new Dim Sum King.